The concern with durian is basically not just because it's sweet, but because of the calorie content. So when you have more durian, you have more calories, and this in turn will make your sugar levels drive up high. So what happened is that um, patients complain of dizziness, unable to see properly, sometimes it's a, a bit of fuzzy, sometimes they really can't see at all. So I have had a patient before, she was known as having a diabetics type 2, and she had durian the night before. And when she came to see me, she was already complaining of not being able to see at all. So checking up her blood sugar, it was very high, in fact the reading was very high, you can't even have a reading there. So that was immediate referral to the hospital and found out that unfortunately for her, she developed diabetic retinopathy where in due course, she became permanently blind. If you take in a small amount, should not be an issue. The problem is we tend to overeat and when we overeat that yes, it will drive the sugars, sugar levels into a higher range and that will cause your diabetes to become worse. Yes, you can take your medication, you can take water after that, but it, it's only up to a point that you'll be able to help. So you do need to have exercise, but most importantly is that you need to prevent from taking too much in the first place. For durian lovers out there who are diabetic, I would advise, number one, try not to take the durians, but if the cravings is really so bad, you can take one or two don't go overboard because when you do go overboard then you're looking for trouble because as I stated earlier it will make your sugar profile your sugar goes a bit on the higher side and when it's too high then you are looking at diabetic retinopathy and complications from diabetics um, the problem is that most of us we don't really we're not really able to control the cravings you're not able to control your diet all the time because we're only human. You can have a cheat day, one or two days, but you shouldn't go overboard. The minute you do go overboard, then you're looking at complications developing. The other thing is that as time goes by, sometimes you do develop drug resistance. Drug resistance happens because, among others, is that because you're pushing the sugar uh, drive too high and your body will not be able to adapt. Medication is of course man-made, made by professional doctors, by professional pharmacists who've gone through years of clinical trials. But at one point when you are dumping too much sugar into your system, you will get resistance medication. Now when that happens, you will need more medication and more strict diet control and that's really no fun for these diabetic patients. So at that extent, when you reach that, there are other things that can be done. For example, cellular regeneration therapy. What does cellular regeneration therapy do? What it does is that it activates your mitochondria. The mitochondria get exhausted because of this overflow of sugar and it cannot perform its duties as it should. So when you have cellular regeneration, regeneration therapy, what it does is that it helps to improve the mitochondria because the mitochondria is the battery of your cell and it can arrest these problems faced in your body.